my name is Isabella Pshivish and I am a fourth grade teacher in Connecticut and this is my fourth year teaching. I've been teaching in-person students since early September. I am following the same schedule that I have been following since last school year. So our subject order is still the same. The only difference this school year is that students come in a bit earlier and they also leave a bit earlier. This year I have been preparing lessons differently than I have been my previous year's teaching. For example, this year I utilized technology a lot more than I used to in the past. For example, all of my lessons for the day are posted on Google Classroom. This way my students can access all their work on Google Classroom. The most difficult part about social distancing has been creating engaging content that allows my students to interact with one another. Because we have to social distance at all points of our day, um, desks are also separated, which makes it really hard for my students to interact with one another. However, what I've done to fix this is that my students also have a Google Meet set up and they can interact with their classmates there through either unmuting themselves and talking with their teammates, or they can also share their thoughts in the chat feature. That way they still have that communication in class as well. The biggest classroom changes that I have made this year is that all desks are separated as far away from each other as they can be. So six feet is what um, we aim to be apart. And because of this, it makes it a lot harder to encourage students to work as a team. In previous years, I would group my students in groups of six and they were all right next to each other, where again, this year, my students are separated and they are kind of working more independently this school year, but I am trying to find ways to encourage interaction amongst other students as well. This year, I am planning assessments using technology. So for example, I will use Nearpod. I use the quiz feature on Nearpod. I also use Google Forms as an exit ticket tool. And I have used paper-based assessments such as index cards. However, I do try to keep things more on technology just to make sure that we can maintain it the whole school year and that students know what is expected in case we do go home at any point of this school year. In addition to that, I have also created assessments using Google Docs and Google Slides, and this helps my students be able to work on projects and more student choice activities. My school has provided us with extra help this school year. For example, we have staff meetings every Monday. We also had a week of professional development that helped us prepare for all the changes in the school year. We have various supports such as instructional coaches who help teachers come up with instruction that is meaningful for students in this time. And then we also are given various resources such as Nearpod to help instruct our classes as well. So something that has been working with my students and is a cool hack is that you can put your students into small groups utilizing Google Meet or Zoom. How I do this is I set a certain code for each group. For example, one group can be called yellow, the other group can be called blue, and you share that code with the students in that group. This way you can still provide differentiated instruction to your students, and students are able to communicate through there, and it stays consistent in case, again, we ever do have to switch to virtual learning. Something that has also worked for my students is having choice boards, especially in math. This just promotes student choice and it has helped my students stay engaged in the classroom during times like math intervention. Something that didn't work in my classroom is when I put all of my students in one Google Meet. And this is because I either got no engagement because there were too many of them and they just felt a little bit more shy, or I had a lot of students talking on top of one another. So I wasn't really able to provide students with one-on-one -on -one or small group um, instruction. So again, separating them into small groups has been really successful in my classroom this school year. Teachers have not been required to disinfect their classrooms or any belongings. However, if we want to, we are provided with disinfecting spray. So something that I do is I disinfect the Chromebooks just to make sure that they are clean. We were also provided with hand sanitizers in our classrooms, So those are automatic and students can use those throughout the day. However, our school does have a custodial team and they are the ones who clean the rooms every night and midday as well. I do have students with special needs in my classroom and social distancing, like with all students, has posed some challenges for these students. For example, some of their services are virtual instead of in person now. So being able to learn a new platform such as Chromebooks and Google Meet has been challenging. However, they are very resilient and they are doing very, very well. 
Something that I did not anticipate this school year is students' hesitation to participate in class. I believe this is due to them wearing masks and being social distanced in the classroom. However, over time, students are getting more comfortable to participate in class. Something that I've done to overcome this is create things like morning meetings into our days and community circles that include community games, just to build relationships in the classroom so they feel more comfortable to participate and communicate with one another, even with masks and social distancing in place. There are many tools that have helped me be successful this school year thus far, one of them being Splash Learn. Splash Learn is a math resource that I use almost daily for math instruction. My students love to go on Splash Learn because they get to create their own accounts and they get to work on standards that we are learning in class and it helps them build their foundational skills so they can access the work that we are doing full group. It is great because it engages students in interactive games and helps them earn prizes. As a teacher, it is great because I get to see my students' um, progression and growth towards grade level standards and I can assign different assignments per student or for the whole class and even assessments. So it has been a tool that I have used almost every day in my math instruction. I have even seen my students' love of learning and love of math grow. And I believe that is in large part due to Splash Learn. So I am really grateful to have that resource this year and I highly recommend it for all teachers to try as well. A classroom management strategy that has been working really well for me this school year is just positive reinforcement. So something that I do in my classroom is I have a pom-pom jar and every time my students are working well together, it's a whole class effort, they earn a pom-pom. And once they fill up the pom-pom jar, they are able to redeem it for a classroom prize. So this just helps um, promote student engagement and teamwork amongst the whole classroom. And they're just really excited to work together and earn those compliments as a team. In order for teachers to meet students' needs this year, I think that we just need to be there for our students. We are all learning every single day and doing our best. And I think our students really do appreciate that and need that from us. I believe that every day we need to learn and just reflect on how our day went. And if there was something in our day that maybe didn't go so well, we need to learn different strategies and new ways. So I've heard a lot of teachers say we feel like new teachers, first year teachers all over again. And that's been pretty true this school year. So I believe we just have to continue learning and reflecting and growing for our students and with our students. My students have exceeded my expectations from the beginning of the school year. I'm so proud of how my students have adapted to all the changes that have occurred this school year. Every day I'm re I reflect on my day and how I can improve the next school day. So that means that there are changes this school year and that my students are learning every single day alongside me. So I'm just really surprised at how resilient all the students have been thus far.